hello everybody my name is me welcome to my channel and i'm gonna be testing out this new palette which i already tried out a little bit earlier this week but i want to play with the other colors that i haven't tried yet um which is this palette right here like how fun it is you know why not um i just want to play with it all the time i don't know i just want to like I wish this palette had a green color though, because of like the lettuce and stuff. But welcome to my journey on this YouTube, because I've been wanting to do this for ever for many years. I'll talk later about it in the video. But thank you for everyone's support, for helping me, also for encouraging me and being brave enough to do this video, even though. I've been trying to neglect it for a while because of my insecurities and what people think of me but at the end of the day I can't let those negative comments get to me so I hope you guys enjoy this video so further ado let's get started I look kind of crazy because I'm doing my makeup but that's okay so I already put on my sunscreen and my moisturizer and everything like that my primer I did that as well so I'm just gonna do like a light makeup today and use like a new palette. I'm gonna play with some colors in this new palette. But like, I usually don't wear foundation, so I'm just gonna start off with concealer. The concealer I am using is the Maybelline Eraser. It's an old classic. I just put this under where I need it. Here. I'm not going anywhere like fancy today. I'm just going to dinner with my friend. Her birthday was earlier this week, so I'm gonna. Just gonna take them out. So add a little bit of this. Some more higher coverage for any spot. And this is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the shade Medium, which is 22. Then I'm gonna use the Tati Blendable. I'm just gonna blend it out. And I love this thing. It's so easy to clean and it's foldable. It's amazing. I never really started YouTube. I never really started YouTube. Um, it's just like this year now because everyone's supporting me. I'm doing a lot of life changes right now. I'm actually gonna be moving in the next month or two to a different state um, than my home state. So yeah, I'm gonna be moving to a different state, which I'll talk to you guys later about, but not right now. I've been wanting to do YouTube since I was in like eighth grade. I think I was like, maybe 12, 11 years old. And that's when I was watching Michelle Fan. She was like one of my favorite YouTubers ever since growing up. Like she's Vietnamese like me. And it's just like the way she was talking, like her voice is so soft and it just like, I don't know. Something about her that like people just wanted to watch. And ever since she ever posted her YouTube videos, back then when I was in eighth grade, I've always wanted to do YouTube. But I'm here at 25 years old making one, but you gotta start somewhere, right? And my sister is one that actually encouraged me to do YouTube this year, 2018. I did two videos, but I never posted it. I only edited one of them, which I looked back at and it was actually pretty good. I should have posted it, but I never did. But here I am, 2021. So I just did a bit of that. And look, my skin is pretty even. Yeah, I don't even use a lot. Uh, yeah, as like I said before, like I'm going through some changes and there's a lot of changes in my life right now. But I just thought like, if I don't start it now, when would I ever start it? Like YouTube, because I've been wanting to do it forever. So I thought this would be a good chance to do it. So next, after I do my concealer, I usually go straight into bronzer. I don't really set my face at all because my skin has been drier lately compared to when I was growing up. It actually became dry after I got cystic acne when I had birth control in, which is gonna be another story if you guys wanna hear about that. I have to take my birth control out and spend so much money on like my skincare trying to get rid of the cystic acne, which I've never had in my life. My skin got really, really dry and sensitive. So I don't really set my face that much anymore. But I'm gonna go into bronzer. I'm gonna use the Physicians, Physicians Formula. I suck at pronunciation. It's the color light. I'm like, I hit pan already, so I get more, obviously, I'm on the outside. I'm gonna mix it with the Hulu bronzer, which is a classic as well. In the shade, I think this is the original one, before they came out with the different shades. But I'm gonna mix these two together. A good thing for me is that I do my pushy face. 
to get in those hollows because I don't have high cheekbones and a small head like my mom's side of the family. I got chubby cheeks and a kind of big head on my dad's side of the family. So this will help me bronze up and have like a hot elected face. After that's gonna actually go into my blush. So I just recently got this the other day last week. So it's a real beauty color joy. This is very, very pigmented with color, so just needs like a little dab. So what I do is just take a little bit on the back of my hand. Not much. Hardly, not even the whole dab at all. I take a more compact brush for my blush and just dab this around like pretty much on my cheekbones and a little higher up for a more listed look. I want to mention with my cystic acne, I wasn't really into makeup as much. I stopped buying makeup actually besides like lip glosses. So I never really bought like eyeshadows or blush and all that stuff because of my texture and my skin. I wasn't wearing makeup like I didn't know what to do with the cystic acne. So I just stopped wearing makeup and that until this year actually last week I bought more makeup and that's been two years since I bought new makeup or like try out new trends and then new makeup it's been a long time and I miss the creativity of makeup like I think makeup is art like and then you can just wash it all off of your face like I think it's a beautiful thing but some may disagree with that and that's okay so I just did my cheeks a little bit on my nose for a more sun-kissed look a little bit on my chin. I love this blush. Like, look at that. And it melts into the skin so well. And look at the leftover product I have. I didn't even dab back into it. But after that's done, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. So what I do with my eyebrows, I use a soap bar, which is just any soap bar. I just put on this little thing. It doesn't close. <laughs> it was too fat. My sister couldn't have it actually, because she wanted the other half. I've had this for a long time, many, many years, in the last forever. So I use a soap bar, I just take a spoolie, and then I have a little spray bottle, just water. Spray, spray, spray. And I take my bar of soap, just do this. And I just kind of like, it's kind of like brow gel, and just like push it up. For me, I like a more fluffier, thicker brow looking for my face shape, so that's what I'm achieving with do this first and after use a pencil or a powder. See, look at the difference between this brow. Look how groomed and it looks without any product, just the soap. Compared to this brow. Also, I do have a bald spot right here because one day I was walking out of work when I used to work at Victoria's Secret. I was opening my car door and I actually hit my face off the corner of the edge and I had a scar and it was bleeding down my face and I'm pretty sure I had a concussion. So that's why it's a little bald here. So like I like using the wax or any brow gel. Not the wax, but like the soap or brow gel to lift it up so you can't really see that scar either. Now look at that different. Look at that. So I'm gonna use a brow pen. So I'm using the NYX and Ash Brown. I'm just gonna take this side and also this side to comb it through after I Use this guy. I just use the pencil for the sparse areas. Areas. Wow, my pronunciation sounds so bad, especially my this line. Oh, look at that brow. It's done. Like I don't like a bold brow that much. It's more like more natural looking. So that's what this is for me. And I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. I just love makeup. I think it's such a creative way to to express yourself or just to like feel good about yourself. Like some days when I'm feeling down, I put makeup on because I feel good about myself. So this brow, even though I do have a sparse area right here, this brow doesn't really need that much product compared to this brow. This brow is more my troublesome brow in a way, but this one is not really. It's not weird. So my brows are done. That's it. So for my eyes, I'm not gonna do anything too too big. 
today because I'm just going to dinner and it's gonna be like a, just nothing big today. So I actually discovered this makeup palette with my sister. We went to Ulta. I think this is palette like twelve dollars, maybe sixteen. I could be wrong, but it's under like twenty dollars. And I don't have the box anymore, but it came with like a box. And I thought it was like an In and Out burger, but it's just called a cheesy burger. Look at that. I haven't seen anyone use this at all yet. And it's by I Heart Revolution, which I've never tried that brand before. But look at this, like a stress ball on top of it. And then this is the colors that are in the palette. Look at that, I love this red. That has some gold glitter in it, that has some glitter in it. These have all glitter in it, plus that gold, which I love. And these are all matte shades. I've used this palette once already. If you are a patient person and you can blend, 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 then I would definitely do it, but it's not like the other palettes I've tried, but I'm just gonna do it. But I'm just gonna use this palette because it's so pretty, the colors are beautiful, and I can just blend, blend, blend. But yeah, so like the first color I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna do a simple one, probably one eyeshadow color, and then one of these colors is an eyeliner. So I'm gonna use this color right here. And I know these colors don't have names. They're just numbers from the box that I saw. So I'm going to use this in my crease area to get that definition of my eyelids. Actually, the colors blend pretty well. But some of the colors don't blend that well that I've used um, the other day. But I just thought it was such a cute palette. There's other palettes too that they have by the company that are super cute they have like a little donut ones that are also squishy too and they have like a marble one they have a unicorn one but oh it's gonna get the whole collection my sister told me to get the whole collection but actually she actually paid for this palette it wasn't that expensive but she paid for it this makes a person she is seven years younger than me i'm actually gonna use I'm actually going to use a bronzer too to add a little bit of oomph to it. So I'm using the Physicians Formula one. Actually, actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to use the Hulu Benefit bronzer. I have two of these, but this one's a little broken up, you can tell. But I still use it as eyeshadow here and there, right there, in that little corner. It's not too bad. It's pretty. So I'm using the same brush. This is a blend brush from... Elizabeth Mott using the same color from the palette. A little bit on my arm, a little bit from the bronzer as well. And then add that out a little bit. For my eyeliner, I might do like a small wing, but I haven't done eyeshadow eyeliner in a while. I haven't like done eyeliner that much in a while. So I'm gonna take actually this color. I don't know if you can tell, that was like a like a darky, dark ash brown, black. Wow, that's actually pigmented. I don't know if you can see that, but I think that's really pretty. This color actually reminds me of this eyeliner that I really like from Urban Decay. Um, I actually have it, but it's like brown with a little glitter on it, which I like to use lately because it's just easy if I mess up and just smudge it. So I'm gonna be using this angle brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just dip into that color. So my camera just shut off, but here we are again. It's very light, it's not very... I just kind of dropped that, but I laid it on my lap. Um, I'm gonna add some right here. A little bit, and look at the difference between this eye. What is this eye? I kind of want to take this color and add this to my lids. So have you guys ever wanted to start something but never just got the courage to? If that's you, just do it. There's a... I'm like, there's a lot of things I want to do and I just let my fear get in my way but I cannot let my fear be in control of my life so that's why I'm doing this I'm moving out of state for the first time ever which is gonna be a big change but we can do it <laughs> I believe in you so after that's done I'm gonna be putting on mascara I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna add mascara so mascara is actually kind of tricky for my eyelashes because I have Asian eyelashes. I don't know if any other race have the same eyelashes, but they just stick down, like down. And if I use like a different mascara other than this one, then they just fall down. I think it's because it's too heavy and it won't hold the curl at all. 
um so the one that i'm using is the l'oreal voluminous milling lashes but it has to be waterproof if it's not waterproof it won't stick up like i don't know if you guys have that problem too if you guys do do you have any recommendations for mascaras that i could try out for my lashes to stay up because i've tried multiple mascaras growing up from high school middle school to now in my 20s like none of them like make my lashes like stick up on the way this stuff and if you do have recommendations please leave them down in the comments below and i'll check them out maybe do me do like a video on it on like how my lashes stick up so i'm gonna add a few coats of mascara and sorry if you do hear my ac going on it's really humid here in the east coast very up north um but i just need the ac on so it's not so sticky and hot <laughs> my lashes are done i never really put anything in my water my, my tight line or i hardly ever do my lower lashes i think i look weird with it for some reason it was my preference but so next i'm gonna be doing my highlight which is almost the last step or the next step is my highlight and the highlight i'm using is the dose of colors by desi x katie shout out to you guys i love this packaging it's so cute this is what the color looks like. So I'm be taking some of this on this brush. I'm putting it on top of this. Of my cheekbone, my nose. I used to contour my nose, then I stopped. I also used to wear a lot of foundation and I stopped because I feel like I was just using it to cover my acne, my cystic acne back then. Because this is actually the only time on my face I, I don't have any breakouts. So that was like a little kid, like middle school. So I'm taking some of my finger, my ring finger, and I'm putting my inner corners. And then some of my finger as well, I'm putting it underneath my eyebrow. And then my cupid's bow. Last thing I'm gonna do my lips. For lips, I'm gonna do munch. I just got this the other day too, last week. <coughs> Bless me. I got this last week. And it's the NYX lingerie one in the color Peach Flirt. I just dab it like that. Oh, that looks funny. And then I use my finger and I spread it across. Cause I don't like too much color on my lips. And I'm gonna add like a light gloss. I'm gonna see that this one from Alan I don't know if they still have this or not, but this is the color Nude Trans. It's kind of cute. Yeah. I'll add this right here. And I'm gonna do my hair and be and give you the final look of this makeup hair and also a little maybe my outfit too we'll see so i just put an outfit and i just did my hair i just brushed it braid bar wrap hair clip in my hair i'm just wearing this white top jewelry i'm gonna add ring as well i'm wearing some ripped jeans and pulling sandals so this is the finished makeup look i hope you guys liked it and please make sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe and ring the notification bell i hope you guys have a great week and a great day the sun is shining but we don't have a good day just know there are better days out there tomorrow's a new day like i woke up this morning i wasn't feeling myself but that's okay yesterday i was having a bad night but i told myself tomorrow's a new day and here we are so i hope you guys enjoyed have a great day